Welcome back, sports bettors. This is Jeff Mackinnon of DRS Sports. I'm here to go over the Thursday night matchup between the New York Giants and New England Patriots, which will kick off week six of the NFL season. DRF Sports is the place you should be to access the information you need to properly analyze and handicap sports. It features the DRF Sports Matchup Tool, which is an excellent resource for sports bettors. Log in at sports.drf.com today and start your subscription. Looking at this game, New England did open up as a hefty 15-point favorite with a over-under 46.5. The line has moved 1.5 points to New England minus 16.5. The total has dropped significantly to 41. I will start in this game with some of the key injury information, and I think this is rather significant, especially on the Giants' side. There is a long list of injuries starting which obviously people are well aware of that Saquon Barkley, the star running back for the Giants, is now expected to miss this game with his ongoing ankle injury. His backup, however, Wayne Gallman, who has performed well in Barkley's absence, is doubtful for this game with a concussion. Their starting tight end, Evan Ingram, is is also questionable with an MCL injury. And Sterling Shepard, their number one wide receiver, is down with a concussion. So numerous significant injuries in this game on the, New, on the New York Giants side. Looking at our rating system, you can see that New England is projected to win rating number one, estimate number one in the game simulator, 29-17, which would be a four and a half point value edge to the Giants. Estimate number two really draws my attention in that it is a 15 and a half point edge to the Giants. That would be a 25-24 projected score. Also some value there on the over. The power line has New England. Should New England is supposed to be a 20-point favorite, which is a 3.5-point edge there to the Patriots. New England has dominated their opponents. They've outscored their opponents by a 31-7 average score. But interesting of note in this is that their schedule strength has been extremely weak so far this season. Their average power rating of opponents played is only 12.8. And to put things in perspective here, the average, a team with a 12.8 is usually ranking in the top five or six worst teams in the league. So on average, New England has played a opponent caliber of the five or six worst teams in the league. And you can see by looking at their results, they have really some of the teams they've matched up here, Miami, Jets, Washington, those are three, absolutely three of the worst teams in football, and they did win handily in all those games. Uh, looking at the betting angles, a couple stand out here. The Giants, last season, really, this would be is in road games after the first month of the season, they were 6-0 and last year. So the Giants, later in the year, did play well um, on the road. Interesting betting angle here favoring the under in that very simple system here that favors the under is you just bet the under anytime a top level team so a team with a 75 percent winning percentage or better plays a team with a losing record if you would have bet that just over the last five years in every case you would be 69 and 35 against the spread that is a 66 percent winning percentage so that would be a excellent system to follow it also coincides with the dropping of the total from 46 and a half to 41. So looking at this game overall, obviously the huge red flag out there with the Giants injuries, but there still may be some line value here in the Giants and, and the fact that New England has not played a very difficult schedule thus far. Um, thank you for watching. This is Jeff Mackin in the DRF Sports. We will talk to you soon.